$100. Now, at its peak, if you have invested $1,000 What's up YouTube, it's your boy MX Style. this is how it's going down, in this video we'll be talking about Polkadot and yes I know I'm late to the party so don't get on my case too much. JJ, what do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night Pinky, try to take over the world. This world domination, mace, you two mistakes, mistakes, always got the doobie in the motherfucking nation, always got the trees, so what the We'll be talking about Polkadot, the future price predictions, what is so important about Polkadot, where it is, etc. This, that and the third. Let's get into the market overview. So we can see here, you know, a lot of red, a whole lot of red, sponsored by Playboy Cotty. I think this episode should be sponsored by Playboy Cotty, to be honest, because there is a whole lot of red. Um, <laughs> anyway, good. Uh, it's a good buying opportunity. Um, in the top 10, we don't have a lot of gainers other than Polkadot which is why we're going to be talking about it um but yeah that's that you know there's a whole lot of red there's a whole whole lot of red <laughs> any bigger scanners we have edgeware don't know much about them we have aragon Ave. they have done quite well i heard some news about them and um yeah th let's just leave it at that and then biggest losers not many big losers but we have Bancor, OMG, Nervous Network, Waves, Basic Attention Token, but yeah, good buying opportunity guys, just do some TA, look at, you know, the lowest point that you think will be on the chart, set a limit order on whatever your exchange is and then scoop some up or just buy it now, ultimately it's up to you. But yeah, we'll be looking at Polkadot and um, asking ourselves what is Polkadot, you know, why is it useful? How did it go from nothing to, well not nothing, but how did it suddenly just appear in the top 10 and in fact it is surpassing the top 10 point of all these different coin list exchanges. Um, looking at the market cap it's around 4 billion and um, yeah there's room for growth. Um, who knows where, where it could go but let's look at Polkadot. So what is Polkadot? In July 2020, Polkadot conducted its first official government poll for the DOT holders to determine whether the token should undergo a denomination, uh, renomination that would essentially act as a stock split for the Polkadot coin. So essentially, if you guys don't know what a stock split is, it's basically, it's like what Tesla are doing. So the stock or you know the cryptocurrency was worth X amount. I think Polkadot was around $300 and essentially they'll split the price by a certain you know, ratio, whether it's five, 10, 100. In this case, Polkadot have done a stock split of 100. So rather than one Polkadot being worth 300, Polkadot, one Polkadot now is worth, or was worth $3. But obviously the price has gone up now. And the benefit of a stock split is that, you know, for newbies or people who don't know much about the uh, coin, they think that, you know, it's a lot cheaper um, maybe I'd be more inclined to put my money in that as opposed to seeing a $300 coin and then being like oh I'll never own a whole coin you know it's uh, it, psychologically for you know mass adoption and for retail to sort of catch on to it it, it makes it a lot easier and it's a smart decision um, the same thing happened with Tesla and you know you've seen the price go up similarly Polkadot is having the same sort of chain reaction so these people they're, they're very very smart in what they're doing and I do have a bag of Polkadot I'm going to add to that position because um, it's doing quite well but also when you learn more about Polkadot you'll see that you know it's, it's a potential disruptor let's just quickly explain what Polkadot is so the renomination of Polkadot went ahead on the 21st of August, which is just a couple of days ago, at block 1.2 million. Polkadot made it clear that the re-denomination does not affect the percentage share of Polkadot that a user holds and people's stakes have not been diluted. So the new dot now is 100 times smaller than the old dot and they say before you, before your dot balance is now 100 times higher and the price of dot is now 100 times lower so the percentage 
of the dot that you own relative to the supply will remain unchanged. What is Polkadot, you may be asking. So Polkadot is a project by Web3 Foundation that delivers a framework that allows developers to build and join blockchains together. It was built by Ethereum co-founder Gavin Wood, Robert Hybermere and Peter Skaban. I know I butchered those names, so I apologize. Um, the technology director of the Web3 Foundation. The new <clears throat> the network facilitates cross-chain communication and interoperability by connecting multiple blockchains into one unified network. The project's light paper explains that the network aims to offer advantages of heterogeneous sharding, scalability, upgradability, transparent governance, and cross-chain composability over the other projects. Okay guys, so we're just going to take a bit of a deeper dive into what Polkadot is and how exactly it works. If you guys don't want to know this and you just want to look at future price predictions, then skip ahead to the timestamps below and we'll go over the time and we'll go over the price predictions for Polkadot. So just looking at what Polkadot is and you know why it's so revolutionary in terms of the cryptocurrency sphere is because it's also if you're into crypto then like just get ready so essentially a polka dot there's no there's no need for for forks so like let me just read this to you so polka dot revolutionizes the process by enabling blockchains to upgrade themselves without the need to fork the chain so these forkless upgrades are enacted through polka dots transparent on-chain governance system with the feature polka dot enables projects to stay agile adapting and evolving with the pace of technology and it significantly reduces the risk associated with contentious hard forks a severe barrier to entry for many organizations so why is this important well essentially you know with our just going off what this article has not article light paper has said but you know with our phones and you know on our app store whenever we want to upgrade a app on the phone you don't need to you know like Often it's, it's not a difficult process, it's quite a seamless process. Often the updates are done automatically and you don't really have to stress about it. So in that same fashion, the Polkadot's upgrade to the network will be done in a sort of automatic, seamless fashion, similar to how, you know, when you upgrade your newest app is done in the background of the app store of, or of your phone. So you're still usable and you don't have to devote hours of time and you know like energy and money into you know like basically with how ethereum is like they're struggling to upgrade from ethereum 1 to ethereum 2.0 polka dots future upgrades would sort of be seamless you know and um i just think it's actually amazing um coupled with the fact that they've had their redenomination of the stock split or whatever you want to call it even though it's not stock but you get what i mean that that psychological factor of like polka dot being a hundred times cheaper people will look at that and be like oh okay yeah maybe I'll, I'll put some money into that essentially the people who created polka dot are like geniuses in my opinion um you know the, well, the people who created ethereum are geniuses and obviously they've branched off into their own respective projects all trying to solve the same issue and i believe 